we have already seen, how to configure the POS settings within the TMS. If the POS setup has been done correctly, the TMS will periodically update itself with the latest POS data, and make rescheduling changes as they occur in the ticketing system. Before proceeding with this video, it is recommended that you watch the tutorial, which explains the POS settings in detail. In this tutorial, we will take a look at how schedules can be created in the TMS 2000, based on show timing set in the POS system. Please take note of the time markers provided on screen. They will help you quickly scan and navigate to a specific section within this tutorial video. To generate the show schedules, click on the scheduler tab. Here, you can access the POS scheduler, by clicking on the POS button. A pop-up window will be shown. Based on information which the TMS is able to fetch from the POS data, all the current show titles will be listed on the left, along with their designated auditorium numbers. Before we can proceed with the show scheduling, we need to first map our TMS screens, to the auditorium numbers from the POS system. Click on the map screen to auditorium button. Here, the cinema screens which are configured within the TMS, will be listed under the screen column. Double click on the auditorium column, shown against a particular screen. A drop down menu will be shown, with all the auditorium numbers fetched from the POS data. Choose an auditorium number, which should be mapped to the selected screen. Similarly, you can map all the TMS screens, to their corresponding POS auditorium numbers. Once done, click on the OK button. Next, select a POS title that you want to schedule. Selecting a title, will populate all the corresponding shows from the POS system, along with their date and time. The red cross icon shown against these shows, indicate that they have not yet been scheduled in the TMS. Select the checkbox against all the shows that you want to schedule. You can also offset the start time for scheduled shows, in order to adjust for any pre-show content such as advertisements, which need to be played before the actual feature. To set the timing offset, select the offset checkbox. Here, you can either select the auto offset to first trailer option, which will automatically adjust the show start time, based on the start time of the first trailer in the selected SPL. Alternatively, you can select the manual offset option, and set the desired offset value for the selected SPL, in seconds. For instance, if you mention an offset value of 600 seconds, the selected SPL will be scheduled to start, 10 minutes before the show start time mentioned in the POS. After selecting the shows, you need to map them to an SPL, which is available either in the theater store, or in the server for the corresponding screen. To do so, select the desired show playlist from the SPL drop-down menu. Click on the map title button, to map this SPL to the selected POS shows, and then schedule these shows in the TMS. Notice that a green tick icon, will now be shown against the shows which have been scheduled. In this example, we have mapped two shows for a particular POS title, to an SPL located in the theater store, and created schedules in the TMS, based on their show times. A light blue box with a dotted frame, will appear on the scheduler timeline, as per the POS showtime. Once the SCH, SPL, and CPLs have been successfully transferred to the relevant screen, the color of the schedule box will change to blue. In case of any issues with a scheduled SPL, the corresponding schedule box will be displayed in a different color. When you place the mouse cursor over any scheduled show, a pop-up message will be shown, indicating the SPL name, along with the start and end time. 
You can also click on a scheduled show, to view detailed information related to the SPL. This green colored badge, indicates the number of tickets which have been sold for the scheduled show, based on ticket data from the POS. To delete a scheduled show, click on the remove button. A pop-up window will be shown. Choose the cinema screen for which the schedule needs to be deleted, from the screen drop-down menu. Based on the selected screen, the list of scheduled shows will be displayed below. Choose the schedules that you want to delete, by individually selecting the check boxes against them. Alternatively, choose the select all option, to select all the listed schedules for the screen. Furthermore, you can select the delete corresponding SPL option, to delete the playlist from the screen, along with the schedule. Click on the OK button, and click yes on the warning message to proceed. A pop-up message will be shown, indicating that the selected schedules have been successfully deleted. Based on the POS settings, the DMS can automatically schedule SPLs, which have been mapped to their corresponding POS shows. Additionally, in case any of the shows have been removed from the POS, the DMS can automatically delete the related schedules as well. Please refer to the DMS 2000 user manual, for more details regarding these settings. This tutorial is now complete. Thank you for watching.